Hey everyone, we're having a really awesome day. I'm here with a review, which I've not done in ages, but I have been so impressed with this product um, that it inspired me to do one. This review is on the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. My shade is shade 93, Honey Beige. And first of all, just like overall first impressions of the packaging, I love it. Um, first, I don't know if you can tell because of the sunlight, but there's a really pretty rose gold detail at the top here. Um, it says Maybelline New York. Um, you can look up pictures to kind of get a better idea, but that, I think that's a really pretty, really nice touch. Overall as well, I feel like the compact is a really good size. It's nice and small, but it's not too small. Um, it's round, which I kind of like. Um, the first layer has the product here, and then the second has a really nice mirror. Um, like, just a really good size mirror. Like, you can see your whole face pretty much. Um, and there's a really nice little sponge in here as well. Um, so it fits basically everything you need for on the go, but it's still really nice, small, and compact. Now, moving on to the actual product. Um, I think the overall consistency of this is more of a cross between a pressed powder and a loose powder. Um, it, I don't want to say it has fallout when you apply it, but um, it's not as compact, like the actual formula isn't as compact as like, say like a powder foundation or something like that. Um, just swatching it, it feels really nice and smooth on this, like when you swatch it, it's, when you like go to swatch it and blunt it out, it just feels really great on the skin. Um, it just gives you a beautiful, natural, like flawless finish when you apply it. I'd say this is definitely a light coverage powder. Um, it's not super heavy, so if you wear like a more full coverage foundation and put this on top, it just gives a really beautiful finish. Um, I love that. It is very um, flattering, like something about the formula is just really, really flattering. Um, I use my Real Techniques um, buffing brush to apply it um, and it just really just blends in really, really flawlessly. It does give you that like slight hint of color. Um, overall, I would compare this to the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, which I was really, really hoping um, was the case because that's probably my favorite powder of all time if you guys have been watching me for a while then you know how much I love that powder. Um, I see the only difference between this and the Dream Matte powder which I believe is probably discontinued is the fact that um, the formula like I said is a little bit um, more loose than the Dream Matte powder um, but overall I would get this honestly like a 9 out of 10. Um, it's pretty pretty like really fantastic to be honest. Um, I love it. I've been using this for about two or three weeks and I was just pretty much immediately impressed with it. Um, like I said the only downside would be the um, depending on the brush you use there could be just a tiny bit of fallout um, depending on how you apply the powder but I love this stuff so I would definitely definitely recommend it. Um, you can find it pretty much at any drugstore. I got mine at CVS. It runs between depending on where you go seven to eight dollars so i mean pretty inexpensive and affordable um and definitely worth it so far in my opinion so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this review um give this video a thumbs up if you did let me know down in the comments below what you think of it if you have this powder i'd love to hear some different opinions and i think that is about it all of my usual links will be down in the info bar and i will see you guys later bye